G'day guys, how are you and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10 Internet of Things via Ubuntu. So let's begin. So the very first thing you want to do is open up your terminal and type in sudo app-get install p7zip-4. So the reason we want to install this is because we want to be able to access the files once we do our wget command. So right now what I'm doing is I'm directing myself to the temp folder and now I'm using my wget and I'm typing in http um, dot forward slash forward slash go dot microsoft dot com and basically what I'm going to do now is I'm literally directing myself to the Microsoft website and I'm going to download the Raspberry Pi image that is on there. So let me just give you a quick reason why I'm doing it this way. So basically I've got my Windows 10 computer and it's awesome, I love it so much. But there's one problem, it doesn't have an SD card reader. When I was building it, I didn't think I would need one, of course. However, I've got my Toshiba laptop here. Now I've got a video on that, you can check it out, the link will be in the description. And it has an SD card reader, however, it does have the Ubuntu on it. So when I went to go install the Internet of 10 things, uh, Basically, it installs an EXE and then from the EXE you can install the image onto your SD card. So they try and make it a little bit easier for, for you, but they also close the door in like backwards compatibility. E.g. you can't install this with Windows 7, you need Windows 10. So that got me thinking, how can I install my um, Windows 10 Internet of Things image onto my SD card when I've got a perfectly good SD card ready here in my computer? And that's where I came across this method with using the wget. Now, as you can see, I've run a few commands there. I'll leave them in the description. I'm not going to go into too much about what they do. Um, but basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a wget and I'm directing myself to GitHub. Now, this user here, what he's done is he's actually created a Python script, which is really, really cool the way he's done it. And what it does basically is it turns the uh, Raspberry Pi's image, the FFU, and turns it into a, just a normal standard image file. So as you can see there, I've downloaded the Raspberry Pi, uh, sorry, the Python script, and now I'm running that script, so ffu2image.py, and now I'm choosing which file I want to do. Now, all these commands will be in the links in the description, so, uh, sorry, the, uh, description, links in the description. So don't panic too much if you're not really too sure what they do. That's why I've made this video so you guys can actually see what it is doing. So um, let's continue on. So this will take a fair bit to do. Um, also, I would recommend that you do indeed format your SD card. Now, I actually zero filled mine, so it took absolutely ages just for a standard 8 gigabyte one. Um, but as you can see here, what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to copy the image over to my SD card. D card. So what I've done there is just done sudo dd if equal window 10 underscore iot underscore core underscore rpi2 dot image of dev. And now what I've done here is I've, I actually forgot like what the name was of my SD card reader. So I opened up another terminal window and I typed in lsblk. And this is kind of like your list disk. You know, you can sort of see all your drives there. And now my SD card was actually under, um, you could look there, it was SB, SD, SDC. So put in your password. Now, like I said, this will take ages and it actually doesn't give you like a progress of what's happening. So, I mean, just let it do its thing. It won't take too long, but it could take long just if you're a bit worried about it. Uh, and of course, the final command there is sync and then we exit. And as you can see, I've now got four new petitions within that SD card. So there's the computer there. Now there's my desktop and as you can see, there is no SD card there. Um, so there is there, beautiful beast. And here's my retro <laughs> Raspberry Pi setup. So I've just plugged it in, I'll put the SD card in, and there we have it. We now have Windows 10. Um, it's probably not the latest version, I don't reckon. I mean, I'm honestly not even too sure what the latest version of the Raspberry Pi's Internet of Things are. Um, but as you can see, it is version 10.0.10586. So whether that's the latest version, I'm not really too sure. Um, however, there is an option when you log into it to do Windows Update. So what I've just done there is I've just plugged in my uh, Wi-Fi stick or Wi-Fi dongle. And now I've gone to my Windows computer and I've got to hit the URL. And then basically now what you want to do is type in your Pi's IP address. So mine was 192.168.1.20. And then we want access port 8080. And you may get this error here saying that there's been a, pro a problem, but don't stress too much about that. Put in your uh, administrator with a capital A, make sure it's the layout layout it won't work. And the password was just there, it's the default one, and there you have it, you're in your Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, there is a Windows Update option, and there is the performance. So I'll just click on the, the performance so you can sort of see what's happening. And that's pretty cool how it gives kind of like a live feed of the performance. Now this does, of course, vary on internet connection, or probably your home connection, a matter of fact, because uh, 
it can be quite slow but nevertheless if you have enjoyed this video do subscribe thumb the videos up and i'll see you in the next one bye bye